Thank you so much for watching Tomo Fujita Music. That was great. That a lot of people like this really simple chord. It's really E major 9. The first one, like that. Can you see? <laughs> Actually, I know that my music sound in a way. Yeah. So this one, it's like 7th fret, 7th, 6th, 8th, and 7th. So basically, root, major 3rd, Major 7, 9. Very, very useful. Major 9. How's that? Yeah. So that's the beginning. So you have to learn that. Now, the chord progression is slightly uh, jazzier. It's a little bit difficult. So I, I wrote down just in case. So like, you know. Um, yeah. Let me see. I have to go back. So, um. You can you can you know um, photocopy this. I have to go back. How's that? Can you see? It? Yeah, I think. Here you go. So you see these are chord of progression: E major seventh, G sharp seven, flat thirteen. Right? Yeah. And then C sharp minor seven, B minor seven, E seven, right? Ninth, and then A major seventh. I have to read backwards. I can read anyway. You can read, and then this is a sort of function, so you can take a look. This is a kind of a theory part that you want to know, sort of number system. What's going on from diatonic theory to next level and diatonic means just everything from major scale it's just um simple so almost diatonic means simple nothing added just a major scale and then harmony came from the major scale but this case g sharp 7 is a little bit non-diatonic so that's what we'll talk about that um so okay so the beginning E major 7, right? Yeah, major 9. And then, this is tricky. Uh, e, see, key of E, E major 7, E major 7, and 1, and then F sharp is 2 minor 7, G sharp minus 3 minor 7 as a diatonic, then 4 major 7 and 5 7. That's, that's all you need, you know? That's really, really. And then, yes, 6 minor. That's it. You know C sharp, right? So the first one, E major nine. So this one already major seven to major nine, just a little bit more spiced up. Very nice. It's good for bossa nova is great. Yeah, and uh, and then now this is very jazzy. But also, if you listen to Tatsuro Yamashita, king of Japanese pop music, and he used this a lot. It's because pian pianists use this a lot more, you know. Very nice. So basically, um, three, three, seven. You can think three is usually minor. So you, so, so like a regular chord. Like that. So like a three minor gives a little bit like chill, like a little bit sad, sad. Like that, just a little bit sad, okay? Now, if you add a major third, then you you have more encouragement. You know, very much. So that's what Japanese music has, like, you know, encouragement. <laughs> like that. All right? So a little bit theory here. So like, you know, 3-7. But also, at a, a, you know, Berkeley, we teach this, this as a 5-7 of six confusing because this one really resolved to six minor which is c sharp minor that's why five seven of six but this part just ignore don't worry about that and then so then now this one if you like a little jazzy sound like this okay seven 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 nine okay yeah using two fingers like that then the no fifth string root flat seven flat three five nine always 
always important to understand intervals degree that's the key that's the really part of big part of a year training studying you know uh, theory and everything okay that's really important now e ninth so in e7 really e ninth root third seven nine fifth so make sure you have everything ringing and the a major sevens i play two types like this one so this root major third fifth major seven then grabbing with my thumb here mute it or this so if you play this important don't see this is a bad habit this is a bad habit this this is not good are you agree so this is good you see if you do this free tremor you have to remember that this is good for good for chord all right so this is a four major four major okay against e right four major but if you put two five like that then four major become more individual a little bit more respected you know i think one chord is very respected as one you settle in you know home sometimes people call tonic what's the tonic i know tonic almost a drink but this is not drink tonic i just call home feel home i want to stay in the couch that kind of sound now this one you want to you want to stand up from a couch you want to do something you want to do something then thinking what should i do yeah <laughs> yeah kind of sound right then four chord now this four chord become more uh special yeah i'm just saying something i'll come up yeah then here finally three minor seven just a diatonic but this instead of this is good again a little sad so dominant major third sharp nine it's a little more exciting so i play sharp nine right root third seven sharp nine just in case five four three four five now for a nine it's hard to see so let me say the frets four three four three right and then you know you can play regular f sharp minor kind of hard by the way this guitar is really really super easy uh, that's why i've been playing more jazz on this guitar and um yeah this one is called um eva mahogany live live means with a pickup and i didn't change anything except the strings but yeah so like easy to now now so this two five and one right two five one but like that but here it just a little bit more fancy i play you know four chord four chord means a but the bass is uh five when i when i was about maybe 14 or 15 this chord was really difficult to get uh, by ear just because uh, normally people say listen to the chords okay listen to the chord yeah yeah they listen to the bass so you can get the sound right so it means like this like okay listen to the chords yes i got a and the bass is a right this a chord right a but this this when i transcribe this one like this okay well a <laughs> bass is b what the hell is that so this is upper structure triads like that here you go nice nice view i like i like to see um my music master bass amp and my lap steel like a blur blah i can say so here so position seven 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 and six five that okay so you got the other chords and slowly 
So, so sometimes, not bad idea, you, you practice really simple. This way, see, a little bit more effective. You only do downbeat, upbeat. So, so only you you check two places. That's why I love swing groove for practice every day. Then harmonics, you have to change around. You know, like you don't. Have to, <laughs> I was just joking. <laughs> Then the thumb position lower. Now this one, you see, you don't want to press six string. Looks like I'm pressing six string, but really, see, not pressing, right? Then make sure. See? That's extra. I just want to do this, you know, simple one. Um, beginning uh, as a demo, I play thirteenth and go to this one, just because it sounds like if I if I do that, sounds like more like A B form, you know. So first time, you know, thirteen to this, you know. The second time, two five one. That's kind of typical jazz tune, you know. So you see that. A simple version. I think I like this. This is you can do it. Here you go. Thirteen. So you go two, two, three. Oh, but they see I'm not playing first string or that. so don't don't read down visually like that like that see 13. So I place sometimes a little bit here and there, uh, too much stuff, and just don't worry about that. Just uh, um, do what you can do and enjoy. Please enjoy. So this is something maybe you can get into a little bit jazzy chords. Like, you know, I teach a lot of major ninth and minor ninth, a little bit more um, fancier than regular major seventh. So, and um, of course, if you want to learn more details. I have my own site called Guitar Wisdom where I teach pretty much everything, every detail on the video uh, lessons. And continually, continue, uh, I 
upload uh, one, you know, every week. So um, you can just keep working. And uh, thank you so much. So here the, below, if you uh, Guitar Wisdom students, please comment about what you liked about Guitar Wisdom so um, I can do better. And thank you so much for following here Tomo Fujita Music. And please join, subscribe this. All right. See you. See you soon.